hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to talk about microsoft word steps on how to start a microsoft word in your computer and the tools in microsoft word and what microsoft word is all about many at times so many beginners are complaining that microsoft word is very hard for them because they don't understand how to make use of the tools in microsoft word so today i'm going to break it down in a very simple way so that there will be no difficulty again before I start, I have to highlight what Microsoft Word is all about. Microsoft Word is a graphical word processing program that the users can type with. Okay, it is it's made up of by computer and its purpose is to allow the users to save documents. Okay, Microsoft Word is not a place that you can be able to be able to be designing or doing things like uh, designing, but it's only made for typing. Okay. You can use it to save a document and you can use it to make any graphical word processing program. Anything you want to do in a graphical word processing program, you can be able to use a Microsoft Word. But the basic part of it today, I'm going to highlight you guys how to operate a Microsoft Word and how to use the tools in Microsoft Word. I want you to follow up this video to the end so that you understand the guidelines so that you will not have any difficulty again in operating it. Thank you so now we will start then you use your arrow use your mouse then you go to you go to taskbar you go to start bar you click on it then you open if you go to start bar it will open then you use these dialog box to search for the program you want to open for example what we want to do now is microsoft word so all you have to do now is to search the program by using your keyboard and type make sure your arrow is pointing in this in this dialog box so that you can be able to not to make a mistake then you type micro microsoft one then it will come out the program you are looking for will display now it will display so here is where the problem starts for the beginners so i'm going to break it down now once you open a microsoft window then the first thing you will see is your words. The first blank white page you are seeing here is known as what? The document window. This particular area you are seeing is known as the document window. This is where all your work will be constructed. This area is where all your work will be constructed. Then you have seen a dimming pointer in your, in your window here now, in your document window. So sometimes you ask a question, what is this pointer all about? This pointer is known as insertion pointer. This is the age where you will start typing anything you want to type in the system. You will to start that area. It's been constant in that area. It's called as it's known as what insertion pointer. Then once you move up, then you will see your title bar. This place is known as the title bar where the program that we are running now will be display. It's known as a title bar. Then we have some guide here in Microsoft Word. We have a vertical scrolling bar this place this area we have vertical scrolling bar you want to go down you go if you want to go up you go up we also have a center scrolling bar which will display in this area then we have a rural guide rural guide is very very important maybe you, you want to type a document here but your rural guide did not uh, it did not display you didn't see your rural guide all you have to do you want to type you didn't see this this guide here which is rural guide we have a horizontal rural guide and also have a vertical rural guide maybe you did not see it then all you have to do is this you go to view once you go to view you will see where rural is i have removed it but i want to put it maybe i open this document window i did not see a rural guide so all i have to do is to go to view then you click on what your rural guide it will now display it will not come out then you start your work then we have a a view button this place now is known as a view button this place stands for you know for example we have under this view button we have a print layout this print layout is very, very important before you print your document which you have typed in this in your document, document window you have to use a print layout to format it select the paper which you want to use to print it select the letters and make sure you want to select maybe a portrait or a horizontal then you set it before printing it out then we also have a zoom slider 
this particular area you are seeing is a known as zoom slider maybe i want to zoom this document window i want to zoom it out you will see it will become big i want to zoom it in i will still zoom it so look at the direction this one is zooming out this one is zooming in then i use a normal window which is maybe 100 yeah i use 100 the normal window then we have a a close button which is this red one this red red button you are seeing here is known as a close button maybe after you finish typing you want to close your window you use this this place but the most important thing is to understand how to operate here which i'm going to show you guys in the next in the next video i'm going to do so today i just want to learn all about the tools so i can be able to understand the tools where the one you want to use is and where you want to make up right so okay so uh, this particular area now is known as quick access to bar this home is known as quick access to bar this place once you open it you will see all these tools here all of them is being combined as a compound group then you can only find this compound group in what quick access to bar which is in this home that's the place you'll be able to be able to find those keys okay we also have a command tools a command tools is all this all these tools here you can see from here insert page layout reference mail insert page layout reference mailing review view acrobat all this one are known as command tools okay all of them stands for a thing anything you want to do maybe for example we select uh, inserts which is will be in the next program we are going to do we want to insert a table in this area we want to insert a table there are some steps to do it you can be able to go to insert then click on insert then you can be able to select insert table you choose the number of columns the number of rows for example let's use the way they are formatted it here now then you want to insert a, a, a columns five and also a row two then you can be able to insert it depending on the table you want to insert but this one we are going to learn it in our next video i'm going to make so today uh, thanks for listening i want you to have to follow up step by step rather i don't want to take it much so that it will not be much in you guys so i want you guys to just grab the ones we have done today then maybe next time i'm going to show you guys how to start up a document in microsoft word so that it will be more clear for you guys all right thanks for your time today